this video is going to be all about setting your RAM and changing your color scheme on Thinkorswim. The first screen that many of you are going to come across is going to be the uh, sign-in screen. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty indescript. You enter your username, you enter your password, and it allows you to swap between the paper trading and the live trading. But what most people miss is this little settings wheel right here. We're going to go ahead and get into that, and this is probably going to be one of the most important um, first steps for you. Allocating the right amount of memory. So as it comes default, the first number will be 32, and that means only 32 megabytes of memory is assigned as a minimum. And a maximum, it usually sets this at 768. Now, that's not even a full meg, or I'm sorry, a full gigabyte. Now, are there diminishing returns? Absolutely. Anytime you get above 6 gigs of RAM allocated to Thinkorswim, even though the settings are available for it, it starts to introduce glitches and um, program anomalies, according to their engineer, software engineer development team, um, that the system's just not designed to handle it, even though the options are there for it. So, realistically speaking, what I was told is that 6 gigs of RAM is about the most the system can use and actually put it towards something useful. Anything above that, you've hit diminishing returns and you're just wasting your time and your money on it. So, 6 gigs of RAM equals 6,144 megabytes in this setting. Now, on the bottom side, that's the maximum RAM, right? If you have the system resources in your computer, um, if you're wanting to max it out on the high side, then on the low side, I would suggest 4 gigs of RAM, which comes in at 4,096 megabytes. That rounds out very nicely. I personally have 16 gigs of RAM available in this computer, and that's about to get bumped up to 32 gigs of RAM. That will not change my memory allocation between 4 gigs on the low side and 6 gigs on the high sky side for think or swim alone. Now, what if you only have 8 gigs of RAM? If you had 8 gigs of RAM, you need to leave 4 gigs allocated to uh, Windows. So that leaves you 4 that could possibly run your Think or Swim program. In that case, I would recommend setting your memory on the low side to 1 gig of RAM, which would be 1,024 megabytes, and on the high side, setting that to the 3 gigs allocation, which is under the 4, but it's still smoking hot most of the time your memory usage on Thinkorswim is around the 3 gig mark. So even though I have mine set to 6 gigs, it doesn't use most of it all the time. And setting yourself with a maximum RAM usage of 3072 megabytes or 3 gigs is going to give you pretty much the best um, memory allotment available if you only have 8 gigs of RAM. Now, if you have 4 gigs of RAM, I highly suggest you not go above one and a half gigs of RAM maximum allocation on the high side, which would be 1536 megabyte setting, or uh, on the low side, I would keep this one somewhere around the 512 megabyte mark. So it'll be kind of a, a tight setting there, but I, I definitely would want to keep my low side as high as possible. So 512 uh, megabytes on the low side and 1536 on the high side for 4 gigs of RAM. I hope this uh, has been helpful to you. Another thing that will help you out while you're on the same screen is if you like lots of contrast so that your eyes can distinguish the different um, candles and, and pull everything out really well, I would highly recommend moving from the dark theming to the high contrast dark theming. It'll make the blacks blacker and the greens greener and the reds redder. So, alrighty, that's what I have for you guys. And I hope you was able to get something out of this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.